Welcome, Aquariuses, to uh, your viewer choice reading or the viewer choice reading for Will Your Person Reach Out? If you have a request for a reading you'd like me to do, put it in the comments and I will definitely consider it. Also, if it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to the reading for Will Your Person Reach Out? Will Aquarius's person reach out? Holy Spirit, and angels, divine guys, universe, any messages you have will be greatly appreciated. And we thank you in regards to Will. Grace, this person reach out. Thank you for the two cards that you provided. Can you please provide two additional? Okay, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse for Will They Reach Out Soon. We have the Page of Swords in the upright for Will They Reach Out Later. Um, can you please provide a card for what is stopping them from reaching out? What is stopping Aquarius's person from reaching out? Okay, we have the, that, that's coming up a lot. Um, <laughs> so go figure, given what the reading is. Uh, the Four of Wands in reverse. And make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for... Should you reach out to your person and that spread I'll have what, what will help, what is blocking it, and what the final outcome would be if you reached out to your person. Alrighty. And then finally, we have the, what do we have? The tower card to reverse for what makes them want to reach out. Again, that came up for another reading. Interesting, interesting. Uh, in my playlist for 2024 sun and moon readings, put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2023s are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate. Refer a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, let's get your reading. So Aquarius is in the position of <laughs> will they reach out soon? We have the seven of swords in the reverse. So, um, Believe it or not, I feel as though there is a possibility because the Seven of Swords is when somebody gets exposed or somebody gives up. So I feel as though I kind of see them kind of putting their hands up on the hair and being like, all right, I give up. Almost like maybe the two of you were seeing who was going to hold out the longest. And then I feel like they're the one that is actually going to give in. Um, I think that when they do actually do that, I think it's going to help them out mentally because they've been really trying hard not to, um, not to kind of reach out to you. So I do feel that they may reach out sooner than later and they, they will kind of expose themselves um so to speak or maybe tell you some things um that you didn't know before now with the page of swords in the upright are they going to reach out later um I actually don't think they're going to reach out later. What they're going to be doing, though, is watching you. I think that they're going to be watching what you're doing, who you're associating with. They might be dipping in on social media to see what's going on with you from there. I think they're going to be trying to figure out a lot of things about you, um, but I don't necessarily feel like they're going to be reaching out. I think they're just going to be watching you from, um, you know, doing a little, be very curious about you. Um, be a CIA person and figure out what they can. So I'm thinking it will be sooner than later. Um, but if it's later, they'll be watching you. Um, what's stopping them from reaching out to you? Four of Wands in reverse. So clearly they remember the problems that the two of you had, the fights that the two of you had. Um, the Four of Wands in reverse is when you kick somebody out or you ask somebody to move out. Um, uh, a really unsettling kind of atmosphere. One person doesn't appreciate the other person around. So that's what causes a lot of tension um, in the environment. So they remember that very clearly and that's what's stopping them um, from reaching out. Now, what is actually makes them want to reach out is the tower card in reverse. They have reconciled with the fact um, why things happen with the two of you the way that they did. Uh, they may have it may have changed them to a degree where they kind of change how, how they think about relationships, how they're going to move forward or relationships, what they're going to do. Um, they understand fully why the relationship had to completely fall apart. And they actually feel that there might be a possibility to rebuild, um, to start from scratch and rebuild your relationship. So let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Why is the seven of swords here in reverse in regards to will Aquarius, this person reach out soon? Why are you showing me the Seven of Pentacles? Okay, we have the Three of Swords in the upright, the King of Wands in the reverse. Okay, and the Three of Cups in the upright. Okay, so 
they may reach out sooner. They may come out of the shadows, so to speak. But I feel as though they definitely still have the heartbreak. They're very much, their heart is still very upset because of it. Um, they're also lacking confidence in their approach towards you. And they also are concerned that you're out and about seeing other people, having a really good time with other people, and that their advances may not be welcome. So even though they might out themselves, I do see them being very hesitant. I do see them kind of holding back because of that, because they don't think they want to get their heart broken again. They don't want to get rejected and they aren't feeling very good about themselves and they don't want to fail if they were to reach out. I mean, who, who wants to, right? Um, why is the page of swords here in the upright for will they reach out later? It's the page of swords in the upright for will they reach out later? Why are you showing me this? Okay. Interestingly enough, later on, they have people kind of telling them you should reach out, you should talk to them, um, you've been looking at what they've been up to, um, and they're, they're opposing that. They're kind of saying, no, I'm not going to do it because you guys are talking me into, talking me into that. Um, I'm going to do it my way. I, I want to sit there and I want to watch them. I don't want to approach them at this time. So they do have some friends and family that are kind of pushing them. Um, to kind of do it at a later date. Um, so in Card of the Upright, they are remembering uh, being very happy with you and they think that they could be happy with you again. Um, the one thing that they did like about the connection is that you guys could be very truthful and very, very open with one another, um, that you would lift them up on their darkest days. You had a very warm, kind uh, energy towards them. Uh, you were always very, um, you know, cheery, very optimistic, and they really kind of like that. Um, so those are the things that they're considering um, as they kind of watch you from afar later on. Uh, World card in the upright, they're also considering at a later date um, how you kind of completed them. But they're also saying that the relationship that you guys had was a relationship what it was then. They got everything out of that for the time being. The two of you kind of hit a ceiling and it's almost like they want to open a new chapter with you. But again, I think this will be much later on. It won't be right now. Um, they're still going through some stuff right now. Why is the why is the four of wands here in reverse in regards to what's stopping them? Okay, yeah, there was a lot of dark stuff that might have gone on between the two of you. Double card in the upright is a card of Capricorn, um, death card in the reverse. So, I mean, they're remembering the times that weren't so great. Um, to them, they feel as though there were a lot of times where they were trying to do the best that they could, um, really kind of working really hard to do the best they could, and you were just being unreasonable. Um, death card in the upright is just the dark aspects of a relationship, um, wanting instant gratification or negative habits or codependency or somebody being an addict or addicted to something or feeling powerless and chained to somebody and helpless and not able to break free. So they definitely remember the dark times very much between the two of you and being kind of chained to one another. Um, Death card in reverse, which is a card of Scorpio, is a card of um, another not so pleasant thought that um, they thought this was, it was a really unhealthy energy, um, that it was, that they stayed in it probably longer than they needed to. Um, the two of you were very stagnant, kind of holding on to each other for the wrong reasons. Um, so, you know, they don't have very pleasant memories and that's actually what's stopping them. Why is the tower card here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages from tower card in the upright for what makes a this person want to reach out to them? No, that's a whole bunch of cards that came out for no reason, for no reason. Okay, the Queen of Cups in the upright, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Empress card in reverse. So there's a duality here. I mean, one aspect that kind of wants them to reach out to you, um, they do have very deep feelings for you, deep emotions and emotional connection to you. Um, there are times when they want to nurture nurture the relationship. They want to be in that feeling again of being very devoted to somebody. They kind of miss that. Um, <clears throat> uh, were they... I feel as though I'm, I'm getting that the opportunity didn't happen between the two of you because they were really nosy and they were asking a lot of questions. I see them kind of taking ownership over that, that maybe they were smothering, a little bit controlling, wanted to know what you were doing all of the time. Um, and I, I, it's weird because I feel like they're saying, if I hadn't have done that, this wouldn't have happened. Um, there would have been an opportunity there. There would have been an opportunity for commitment 
but because they did that, that's the reason why things ended up ending. They were so dependent on what you were doing and they shouldn't have done that. They should just given you, made you feel a lot more comfortable um, being who you are and doing what you wanted to do. So I, I don't know if that was you doing that to them, but I feel like they're saying that they did that to you and they understand why things went the way that they did. Um, but now they have a different realization. I think they've done some changing in regards to that. So that does make them want to reach out to you. So that's what I have for you at this present time. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link to Link tree will go to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. If you have a request for a viewer's choice reading, put it in the comments. I will consider it. But make sure you click on the Vivian link below for should you reach out to your person, should you Aquarius reach out to your person in that I'll have what's helping, what's blocking, and what the final outcome would be in my playlist for your 2024 sun, moon readings. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue at 2023s are still in there. See if they rank true for you or somebody else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram. Like, share, like, share, subscribe, donate um, in support of my efforts. Refer a friend also. Always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Aquarius, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.